The polygon function. The polygon function takes six parameters and returns a value between 0 and 1 depending if the test point is inside a polygon defined by a centre, radius, number of sides and a rotation angle. It's confused several students and I hope to make it clearer in this video. Suppose we set the number of sides to 3. We draw in a triangle. Each edge of the triangle will be tangential with a circle of given radius positioned at the parameter's centre. Imagine this triangle is divided into six right angle triangles, like this. For the test point PT we need to 1. Decide which triangle to work with, depending on the pixel being rendered. 2. Calculate the angle between the PT vector, the pixel being rendered, and the line that is perpendicular to the final triangle side, shown in blue in the diagram. And three, adjust the length of the hypotenuse of this triangle based on the cosine of this angle. Testing if a point is in a circle is simply a case of testing if the length of vector PT is less than radius. The trick here is we adjust the test length, radius, based on the angle theta. You'll see how this works in a moment. Here's a useful dynamic diagram that will help your understanding. The first job is to calculate the angle from the positive x-axis using 8 and 2. Then we calculate the angle between each bisector of the final triangle sides. Now the magic. We choose which triangle using floor 0 0.5 plus theta divided by rad times rad. This selects which of the lines radiating from the centre to base the test angle on. If we go back to the code pen link, we can see how the blue line moves around as the test point position changes. Finally, we multiply the return value from cos by the length of the vector pt, the pixel being rendered in a coordinate system where 0, 0 is the centre of the polygon. If the angle's 0, then cos returns 1. But if the angle is pi over 6, 60 degrees, then cos is 0.5. So as the pixel gets nearer to the corner of the polygon, the value of d will be modulated as much as halved. Keep this in mind. In this final line, we tested the value d is within the radius. At the blue line where theta is 0, only lengths of pt under radius will pass the smooth step test. Near the corner, Lengths of PT double the radius will pass because this length has been halved using the cosine value. I hope that helps.